la familia what's up just popping in here to connect with you all let me know when you're around and where are you tuning in from even if you're watching the replay so um i've been having some questions from coaches from healers um, from people that are doing the work, you know, heart-centered entrepreneurs, like they have the most amazing ideas. They are, they, like their plan, their strategy is for success, you know? And they reach out to me like, Juanpa, what is this all about? Because they, they know I'm all about embodiment, right? How to bring that success to the body level, to your life, to materialize it, right? Because one thing is dream about it, but that, can we embody it? So they always reach out to me for that. And I'm like, when I tune into it constantly, it's like, guys, it needs to start from integrity because it's all about strategy. It's all about, I've done this training. I have this title. I am this and that. And I'm like, are you practicing it? Are you putting it in action? Do you have a methodology that can support you on your path so you can support others, right? And it can be like, you know, an uh, elite athlete. It can be like a celebrity. It can be a mom. It can be a, a dad, you know, just someone that wants to be a better version of themselves. And they read the book and they've done the strategy. And great, are you embodying it? Do you have something to help you when you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, I'm kind of out of alignment. My mind is foggy. I'm all over the place. I need something fast to get me in my flow state so I can be the best version of myself today, right? Like I do that all the time because it's like, I don't want to make decisions from that place. I don't want to, you know, talk to my clients from that place. I don't want to do a live stream from that place. I always take responsibility of my state and where am I sharing it from, right? And this is what I, what I want to share with you. Like if you're someone that's constantly evolving, constantly ascending, if you're committed to that, I want to offer a free training for free. And it's all about inner mastery. Why did I choose inner mastery? Because I feel that's the base of it all. If you want to upgrade your life in any way, it's all about inner mastery. You, you, you got to know yourself, right? And then from there, you got to, okay, like know how to deal with negative thoughts when they come through. Know how to deal with negative emotions. Know how to deal with challenges in life. Build yourself, right? That inner resiliency in yourself. So when obstacles are on the way, you actually learn how to surf them, how to flow through them, right? How to actually use them to go to the next level. Yeah, let, let me know if that is uh, uh, something you, you are called to do. And uh, if you want to join us, we're starting very soon, guys. It's uh, Inner Mastery Training, okay? So um, just comment below with Inner Mastery and we'll share with you the details. We are starting actually in a couple of hours, right? I think a little less. And whatever, if you're just watching the replay, we can, we can send you also the replay. But if you can be live and you have some time right now, I would invite you to come and feel the energy, feel the vortex, like we really go deep and wake up those dormant parts of the brain that help you like, whoa, this is who I am. This is why I'm here. I was kind of like, you know, kind of lost. And, um, and, and now, now I know. Now let me go towards that goal. Let me actually accept that this is my way and this is where I'm going and this is who I am, right? I see so many also coaches, healers, like with the imposter syndrome coming through, right? You know what that is? That imposter syndrome is like, I don't believe I'm that. And I know I, I love to help people. I love to be there for them. I, I love to support others. I love seeing others thrive. Like that's my nature. But but no, I'm not a coach. Um, no, I haven't got the, the 100,000 hours of training. No, I haven't done, you know, instead of being open and saying, you know what? Like, this is my calling. This is what I feel. I want to support others. I'm a healer. I'm someone here to help humanity rise. This is who I am. And however that flows, let me just be open to that. But sometimes there's so many patterns in our minds from the past that are not letting us accept who we are and what we love and why we're here, right? Really live deeper layers of our purpose. And, and maybe we are living the shadow purpose, right? Comment below if you know what the shadow purpose is. 
and you've been there, right? It's like living your purpose just on the comfortable zone, just for the money or just because you have to feed your family or just because any reason outside, which is valid. Don't get me wrong. I lived there for a long time, but do you want to keep living there? Is that your choice? Or are you ready to step it up to the next level and really own who you are and why you're here? It depends. It depends. And, and, it's, and it's about your presence and it's about your commitment and it's about you getting clear and saying, you know what? I know there's more for me. I'm kind of done with these limitations. I'm kind of done with this. Let me just step it up and let me just really commit and let me like learn whatever I need to learn so I can really step it up in every area of my life. So if you want to be part of that, guys, comment below with Inner Mastery. It's a free training, and I'm offering anyone that wants to upgrade their life. Even if you know you are a healer, or you know you are here to share your gifts, or you know you are a speaker, and you're a motivator, and you're someone that just inspires people. Guys, let me, let me tell you a story. Like, for me, I wasn't born like okay, like this is me and I'm owning it and, and I'm here to help the world. Like it was, it was hard for me to own it. And I owned it at the beginning as like a yoga teacher and a meditation teacher and a coach and a healer. I, I started uh, when I was like around 21 years old, I started that in the spiritual community. And, and from there I kept growing and growing. But I, I, I got to a point where I touched the roof and, and my roof was like, I'm already there kind of thing, very unconsciously. I, I already know... I had studied 5,000 hours of, of yoga teaching. You know, I was already doing yoga teacher trainings, 200 hours and 500 hours, right? I was there, supposedly, and my spiritual ego was kind of, you know, playing that. And, and, and I kind of got lost in like, okay, let me just expand the business and bring more people in. And I kind of took care of the business more than, and I would teach yoga, right? And I would be seeing the business and open up to like a nutrition and conscious living school. And I kept growing and growing because I'm like, this is here to share with the world and this is who I am. But I lost myself in that, right? I stopped practicing. I stopped getting myself into that flow state. I started acting from a way, from a place that wasn't my highest. And I could feel it inside of me. And I could feel the gap between like, the coach and the healer and the yoga teacher that would show up and the one that I wasn't tuning into myself. I wasn't tuning into deeper layers of alchemy. I wasn't really living deeply the life I was teaching others to live, right? So I lived like this for, for a couple of years, guys, and it felt like deep inside, it just felt more and more disconnected from my inner self, from my full potential, from my soul, from my purpose, really, because I was living my purpose, but that was even my shadow purpose, because how can you be teaching others something that you're not embodying yourself? Sooner or later, it's gonna all crumble down, guys. And for me, that was the great lesson. When I really got this, it was like, okay, let me open up to go deeper deeper and deeper and I'm open and, and available and that's when I started opening up to the methodology of quantum flow and it started flowing through me and I started putting you know all of the universal principles together to understand how to get into the flow state in the fastest way possible right but guys that was because I wanted more I knew there was more for me I knew there was so much potential in me and I wasn't getting there and I couldn't see it because I was in the place of like, I'm the helper, I'm the healer, I'm the coach. Guys, if you want to call more clients to your life, if you want to impact more people, influence, help more people, if you want to open yourself to real abundance, it all comes from inner mastery. There's no other way. And you can be successful and have the money, but that doesn't mean you're going to be the happiest being you can be. That doesn't mean you're free. That doesn't mean you are in that place of peace and love and harmony and power, real power. The power that comes from your core, the power that comes from your soul, not from the things you do and from what they say about you and the titles you have. That's excellent if it's a result of what you've embodied, but it serves for nothing if you're living in that gap where I was living. If you're living in that place of like almost faking it to make it or just focused on one area of your life and forgetting about the rest. 
Yeah. So if you're coming back to that, like, hey, you know what? I'm 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 on the roof right now. I'm 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 gonna break I'm on a break point right now. I'm open to take my life to the next level, or I'm open to go deeper into my purpose, or I'm open to listen to what's happening in my business and I'm not really following the next step because I'm getting on the way, right? Your business is not your business. Your business is just a reflection. It's a being that you have created, right? But it's a being, it's got its own energy. And once you learn the energetics of business and how it's related to your energetics, once you start upgrading yourself, and all this through inner mastery, your business starts growing and expanding. And you start listening where the business wants to go, right? And not where you want it to go because of your ambition or your desire or whatever that is, which is great. But let it come from a deeper purpose, from a purpose of I am here as a co-creator. I am here listening to the universe. I am here listening to the messages coming through me right now. Thank you. Let me be, let me surrender to this humbleness that comes from my heart, from accepting I am just a channel. I am not the one, right? I am not the one. I, it's flowing through me. It's not like, oh yeah, Juanpa, you're so amazing. You've done so much, right? Yeah, man, you're so good. Like, it's not you. It's coming through you. And once you understand that, you're just grateful. You're just like, thank you. Yes, more. I'm open to more. Show me more. Where's my next step? Where is the next people to call? Where is my next training? Where is the next book? Where is my next meditation? Where? Where? Inside of you. Inside of you. Always coming within. All the answers will come if you know how to access that highest self through all these methodologies I'll be sharing with you. So even if you're just watching the replay or just coming in right now, um, I would recommend if you're into all these themes and you want to go deeper, uh, comment below with Inner Mastery, guys, and we will send you um, the link so you can join us and we can uh, fly together and you can understand this methodology, like the seven stages of quantum flow will all, all build up and they all work on your nervous system and you learn how to access them because they all relate to different areas of your life. They all relate to different layers of your being. They all relate to that contraction into expansion. Once you get it, once you get it and you embody it, you start expanding in your life. It's inevitable. But it, you got to come from the base. It can't come from the mask of now I'm the healer. Now I'm the practitioner. Now I'm the teacher. Now, no, it's like, okay, let me go deeper. It's about commitment. So yeah, guys, ah, so good. I just wanted to come in and, and say hello and let you know that we're starting that very soon. And that is open for all of you. It's my gift for you and um, always here available to you. All right. Please share this with your tribe. Please uh, tag people in this. Let them know this is happening. Anyone you feel that is here to share uh, their gifts and that's, that's really committed to take their life to the next level and help others do the same, this is for them. Yes, so here for you, supporting you. Thank you all for being here right now. Comment below with Inner Mastery. And in, in Instagram, just uh, have a little bit of patience because we can't send you messages right now. But the team is right now seeing anyone that is commenting Inner Mastery, you will receive the link so you can join us and, and receive like all the news about this and, and everything you need to upgrade your life to the next level, right? So thank you all for watching. Let me know your comments. Let me know what you feel about this. Let me know your story. If you live the similar, uh, similar story to me that you, you were, you know, living your life in a certain way and it didn't feel real. It didn't feel complete. It didn't feel whole. And how crazy that feels, right? To live in out of integrity of what's really going on inside of us and what we project that's really going out, out of us, right? It's kind of like a game we play and sooner or later, it all crumbs, crumbles down and you get to feel so empty about it. When you get raw and real and it's like, am I really happy? Am I really free? Am I really living my best life ever? Mm, not really. 
oh bah, bah, right it's it's like it crumbles down so so before that crisis happens why not question certain things why not open yourself now why not be curious about uh, where are my blind spots? What's holding me back? Why am I manifesting the same rela relationships I manifest? It's not about them, guys. It's about you. You're calling in that. Why am I always stuck in scarcity? It's not about the world and God and, and I, I wasn't born in a, in, a, in a rich family. It's about you and your scarcity mindset and your scarcity is, is vibrating in your being. So how are you going to attract abundance if your whole being, your whole nervous system is saying scarcity is contracted, is wounded from the past. And it's, it's got all these like knots that when you unravel them, then you start thriving. Yeah. So if you want to join us, guys, let's do it. We're starting very soon. Inner mastery. Let's rock it together. Pura Vida Familia. Thank you for watching. Best vibes ever. Boom.